Well, the band first started when uh, John and I met at a venue called O'Brien's in Santa Monica a few years ago, and we just started chatting after the gig, and I was like, man, we should start something original, and that was uh, the catalyst for starting Dirty Honey. <laughs> First time I heard Last Child by Aerosmith was probably around the time that I discovered Aerosmith. I, I first heard Toys in the Attic and Permanent Vacation. Those albums were my introduction to the band. Soon after that, I was so hooked. It's the first concert I ever went to. I met Steven and Joe at the radio station before the show. I was just a little kid and Steven Tyler's signing girls' boobs and Joe Perry's like all scarved up and it's got rings everywhere. And I saw these two characters like walk out of radio station. I was like, whatever they're doing is what I want to do with my life. Yeah. That whole record, Aerosmith Rocks, um, sort of just captures a moment in time. Um, the Stones had it too, Aerosmith had it, the Eagles had it. It's just, it's very iconically 70s. Sounds, the, the way they recorded the record, it's very live. It's got some like funk swagger in there. That's sort of what we're going for. We want to make music that has soul and has a live feel and has a performance element to it instead of, you know, perfectly in tune vocals and perfectly played guitar solos. That's our philosophy for everything we do. We're trying to capture performance, not perfection. Shooting this Amazon original with Dave Cobb here at RCA Studio A in Nashville has been incredible. I mean, he's an awesome producer and awesome guy. I'm such a fan of the way he makes records and does it live. He tracks it live. He does minimal overdubs, he likes to capture performance that's special. There's so much history in this room, and the sounds that he gets are so good that um, you, know, you couldn't ask for a better person to be around to make a record with. Earl Smith's influence Dirty Honey in many ways, honestly. Um, they're a huge influence on our band. To be here right now, like tipping the hat to them is, is really special, honestly. So. Um, yeah, they've, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for them. Oh.